Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. A salutation, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, this uh, title is a bit, you know, shocking. <laughs> Some Somewhat of, of clickbait to draw in uh, members of the elect. But uh, it's still true. Okay, it's still true. When you read the scriptures, it's very interesting to find out that that Yahweh Shai had two brothers that was in the truth and two brothers that were not in the truth. Okay, and that those two brothers that were not in the truth grew up with Yahweh Shai, so to speak, and still did not realize that this was a special man of the Lord. You see. So, <clears throat> I want to read uh, Matthew, the 13th chapter, in the 53rd verse. It says, And it came to pass that when Yahweh Shai had finished these parables, he departed, then, he departed thence. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue in so much that they were astonished and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother Mary, called Mary, and his brethren James, and Joses, and Simon, and Judas? Now, James and Judas were in the truth, okay? Judas, who's also, his name is Jude, who wrote the book of Jude. Those two brothers were in the, were in the truth. Now, you had Joses and Simon, who were not in the truth, okay? Those are the brothers I'm speaking about in the title, okay? And I'll show you why. And his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then hath this man all these things? And they were offended in him, but Yahweh said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country. And in his own house. Okay. So the reason he didn't have honor and respect. Is because they grew up with him. They seen him around. They seen him as a kid coming up. You know whatever whatever the case was. Okay. Whether he was playing or. You know they seen him coming up. They seen him as a kid. So they were. So they were offended. At the fact that he had this, this great wisdom. And was doing the, these works man. Okay. And he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. So he didn't even show most of those people his works because they didn't believe. You see, a man in the flesh that was dealing with the flesh, that was all about the flesh, he would have been like, oh yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show them. And he would have he done mighty works just so they can see that he had that power. All right? All right? So he can, he can basically shut them up. But Yahweh Shai didn't do that because it wasn't about that. That would have been a waste of time and it would have been a waste of spiritual power. You see? Why? Because they were unbelievers. He already seen that they, that they didn't believe. He already saw that they were faithless, that they were not of the elect. So it's a waste of time. And it's the same thing as if when you're, when you're preaching the gospel to people who are not meant to get it. And you, you're telling them something and they're just not receiving it. Well, that's why the apostle always tells you to tell them to go up the street because it's a waste of time to deal with them. Lest it be for edification of the body. Now, let's jump to um, let's get Acts one verse. Uh, Let's, let's read Acts 1 and, and, um, and 13. And it says, And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John. Right? This James is Yahweh Shai's brother. And John 
and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and, and James, the son of Alphaeus. See, there was two James. And Simon, um, Zealots, and Judas, the brother of James, right? Which was the bro this James up here, which they were also the brother of Yahawashai, the brothers of Yahawashai. And I'll prove that. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Yahawashai, and, and with his brethren. So they continued, man. Okay? You understand? They, were, they, were, they continued uh, with, with one accord in prayer and supplication, man. All right? And let's go to um let's go to first Corinthians nine and one. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll I'll go to um verse five. It says, Have we not power to lead about a sister, a wife, as well as, as the other apostles, and as well and as the brethren of the Lord and Cephas? Okay, the brethren of the Lord. Who's that speaking about, man? Talking about James and uh, Judas, man. They had wives. Okay? And Cephas is speaking about Peter. Peter had a wife. Okay? Because, you know, so, so you know, they, that was something that that is being clarified here. Okay? The fact that these these men had wives while they were doing the ministry. But do you think they got to see their wives every week? And nah, man, they were they were out doing what they had to do, man. That's why the scriptures say, "Be those that have wives, be as though they had none." Okay, so it says the brethren of the Lord, right? So which which is part of this ministry, which is part of this ministry. Okay, now let's deal with um. Let's deal with John the seventh chapter. Okay, now this is where this is where it gets it gets juicy, so to speak. This is John seven and verse one, and it says, "After these things, Yahweh shall walk in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him." Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand, and we're in the feast of tabernacles right now. Okay. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. All right. And by the way, they were being smart asses. Okay. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known. He himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, Shoe thyself to the world. If you do these things, if you do these things, shoe yourself to the world. Why? Why did they say if? For neither did his brethren believe in him. All right. So these are two brethren that did not believe in him. All right. This is Joses and Simon. Okay. The two brethren that did not believe in him. So in other words, they were talking smack. Okay, why don't you go show show your talent to the world to the world? All right, you see. So and ultimately, these two brethren, <laughs> just to be blunt, they're enemies of the cross, man. You see, they're enemies of the cross. All right, because they did not believe. In the Lord. Then Yahushua said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. Why, why, why is their time always ready? Because they're of this world. The world could not hate you. Why can't they hate them? Because they're of this world. But me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. And, and do not all the, the apostles do that? Do not all the brethren that believe in Yahushua today do that? We testify that the works thereof are evil, which they were not doing. Okay? 
you see so that was the, that that's the point on that okay the fact that they were talking smack and that wasn't a uh, that wasn't just sometimes they were probably talking smack on a regular basis man because they did not believe all right <clears throat> and you would think that since they since they were so close to the lord that of course surely they they would believe but the thing is this The, the most high chooses who he wants. Okay. This is um Philippians 3 and verse 17. It says, Brethren, followers together of me and Mark, them which walk so as ye have us for an ensample. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach. Whose end is destruction? Who's well? That includes his brothers. All right. Whose end is destruction? Whose power is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame? Who mind earthly things? All right. All the people who are into the world. All right, and not into spiritual things. For our conversation is in heaven. From hence also. We look for our Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, okay? Who shall change our vile bodies, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Now, the scriptures speak about um, everyone gonna, is going to fall into their lot, all right? And that my sheep hear my voice. And they followed him to the ends of the world. If you're not of that elect number, it doesn't matter who your brother is. It doesn't matter who your cousin is. You see here that your brother can be Yahweh Shai himself, himself while he was on the earth. If you're not chosen of Yahweh, uh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, you will not be making it. Okay? In these times, guess what? If his brothers are here now... They're gonna take it. They're gonna take the chip, okay? They're gonna take the chip. All right. They're gonna. They, they probably already took the juice, all right. And they're getting ready to eat a missile, or they 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 they're gonna pass on beforehand, all right. Why? Because they were not of the elect. James and Judas were, but Josie's and Simon were not. Okay, and this is why Yahweh I said this. This is uh, uh, Mark 3 and 31. And it said, There came then his brethren and his mother, and standing without, sent unto him, calling him. His brethren is who? Joseph, Simon, and his mother Mary. And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren, without seeking, uh, without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he looked round about on them which sat about him, and said, Behold, my mother. And my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of, of the Most High, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. Okay? And guess what? Mary believed because Mary asked him to change that water into wine. So Mary knew. Okay? She she believed in that, that he had the miracles. And she had to be special to even for the Most High to even choose her to have you outshine in the first place. Okay? Alright? Same thing with Joseph. All right, so you know that's a different case. Now, the two brethren now, nah, you know that they they, they, they they they're that's a different case, a totally different case. Now, Yahushai said what that his brethren are those that do the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. All right. Blood is blood is not thicker than the spirit. 
All right, it might be thicker than water, but it's not thicker than the spirit. All right, let me get something else. This is Matthew's ten. Verse 30, looks just like it. Matthews 10. Jump down to 36. And it says, I'll start at 34. It says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, for I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household, All right? And that applied to Yahusha as well. As you saw, the brothers were, were scoffing, okay? They were scoffing, all right? And brothers have dealt with similar situations many a times. All right. So, hey, man, with that, um, hopefully that was edifying. Okay. Hopefully that was edifying through the spirit. Um, yeah, this thing is not about who your brother is, who your cousin is, who your best friend is. It's about those that do the will of Yahweh Shem With that, I'll say Shalom.